G'day everyone, welcome back to True Footy. It is currently late on Friday evening here in Macclesfield, England, but of course, where you are right now, it is grand final day. It's technically still true right now because of the time difference, and uh, I am going to be getting up in eight hours from now. I haven't I've got to edit this video still. Eight hours from now to tune into the 2023 grand final, so I thought I'd uh, just offer a few last minute thoughts and predictions to sort of... I guess, cash in on the hype right before the grand final. It's an exciting time. Uh, it's going to be a weird grand final for me where the, the whole thing's over at 8 a.m. This is probably the one day of the year so far since I left Australia that I wish I was still in Australia doing something fun. Uh, I'd probably be spending it with my family, to be honest, but, you know, I'm jealous of those who actually get to experience a proper grand final day, but this is the choice I made, so that's fair enough. So I thought I'd offer some, yeah, last-minute thoughts on uh, on the upcoming game. Today, actually, or yesterday, um, for you guys, I was on a fairly new channel's live stream, Fancast, and uh, you should go check that out, by the way. I'll leave a link to their channel in the description, but uh, they're an upcoming channel with a lot of cool fan perspectives, and I was a guest on their live stream previewing this game as well. So that was a lot of fun. This grand final to predict, it's kind of doing my head in. It's uh, it's a really tough one, and I feel very, very confident we're going to get a close one. And You kind of feel that before every grand final. I think I thought that... I think one of the last, four of the last five have been absolute blowouts, and I think we didn't see a blowout coming. Um, but if there was to be a blowout one way or the other, I feel like it's more likely to be Collingwood. I've said this in the other video, but the only real way I see a blowout happening is if uh, Brisbane, the interstate traveling side, as has happened in several grand finals recently, uh, where if they just don't show up. You know, over the last 10 years, that's happened a fair bit. Um, Hawthorne West Coast, Hawthorne Sydney, that was 14 and 15. 2017, Richmond smashed Adelaide, and they were, you know, the less fancy team. 2018 was the exception. I thought I'd just slip that in there. Uh, Richmond blew away uh, GWS in 2019. 2021 was neutral ground. Uh, 2022 was another example of the interstate side just not showing up to play at the G. So that, that is possible. And I keep changing my mind a million times about how this game is going to go. But I have given you my predictions and I'll double down on those. And I want to give you some specific bold predictions in this video. They're just silly ones, to be honest, not uh, to be taken too seriously, but I'll run through uh, some bold calls that I've got for this game. But uh, yeah, just lastly, before I get into that, thinking of all you fans with a team in this year's grand final, I have uh, been blessed enough to watch my team in four grand finals. Yeah, was barely alive in 94. So 05, 06, 15, and 18. And I tell you what, to be honest, they're really not fun. They are not fun. I think of 2018 as the best day of my life but to be honest for 119 out of those 120 minutes i was hating my life i hated being at the mcg i was miserable up until well there was two moments where yo kicked that goal at three quarter time and uh and and obviously the sheed goal but other than that it's tough man it's tough so my heart is uh out to you guys regardless of who you support and uh, the rest of us neutrals hopefully will be treated to a very very good game you know, with Collingwood here, I'm not one of those people that um, dislikes Collingwood. I wouldn't go as far as to say that I uh, that I like them. They're just they're just a team to me, um, and there is some mutual respect over 2018. We've had a pretty good rivalry in and around that period as well. And being in Melbourne after that grand final, as I've said before, being in Melbourne and mixing with Collingwood fans after the game, like they were all very gracious people. I know I'm repeating myself, but I just I don't feel any I wouldn't feel any Schadenfreude if um, if Collingwood were to lose this game for all their success and you know they're a big financially sound club obviously and then um, you know there's a lot of uh, silverware as well there has also been a lot of heartbreak they have lost a lot of grand finals they might be the team that's lost the most grand finals ever 02 03 um, what else they lose they lost 2011 they lost 2018 and then you know plenty prior to that so um, yeah whatever happens I, I, I would be kind of happy to see my Distant friend, uh, Swoop Luke as well, who's a big Collingwood fan and dedicated most of his, like the last five years, maybe more, to um, to, to discussing AFL, specifically Collingwood and how they're going and uh, can't help but like the guy. So I hope, I hope for his sake that he gets to broadcast on a Magpies Premiership win. I think that would be cool to see. But anyway, I know I'm rambling and in some ways repeating myself. So I'm going to give you some 10 last minute predictions. Uh, so I've given you a few already. The first one is that Mason Cock is going to keep... Did I say Mason Cock? Sorry, just got Cox on the brain. Uh, Mason Cox to get the first goal. I think he's going to have one of those signature pack marks and goals. And then he'll do a stupid little strut. And then he'll zoom in on his American family in the crowd, who I'm sure are lovely people, but it's still annoying. 
I think Collingwood will get the jump and the, the first goal will be Mason Cox. I have also predicted, secondly, that Brisbane will have a goalless first quarter, but only be a goal down at half time. So getting real specific with you. I think they'll kick four behinds. I think both teams will be wayward in front of goal early, um, the opposite of 2018. And then number three, Joe Danaher to have a horror show in front of goal. That's what I'm predicting. So we've seen him have some terrible shanks this year. He kicked 58-36, which is not too bad, but I think his radar will be off. Think Nat Fife in 2013, um, but he will snap at least one goal later when Brisbane have a momentum swing. Nick Dacos, he is going to be talked about a lot in the broadcast of this grand final, and uh, and rightfully so, of course. And, he, you know, the last time he played the Lions, he didn't play in round 19, uh, 23, but he played in round four, and he had 38 and two goals. So, uh, obviously, a pretty good record against the Lions from, well, from this year anyway. I'm predicting he has a pretty slow start. I know Collingwood is my, I predict them to start fast with the crowd, and they'll be up and about, they'll be inaccurate, but they'll be red hot, and I don't think Dacos will actually find that much of the pill, but I think expect him to come alive in the second half. So I predicted a quiet eight-touch first half and then 21 in the second half. For leading goal kickers, let's start with Collingwood. I think Myrcheck will kick three goals for the Pies. Uh, obviously, with no mix stay there, they're going to look for some different avenues to goal. They're going to have to structure up with Cox and maybe Frampton up forward. But Myrcheck, I have the memory of him kicking goals on us in 2018 burned into my mind, and I think that is probably influencing a lot of my predictions here. But... He's had a very good season. He's kicked 46 goals. Only one goal in each of the finals so far, but three goals to my check. He'll be their leading goal kicker. And then Charlie Cameron will be the Brisbane Lions goal kicker. With Danaher being inaccurate on one side, you've got Cameron kicking four. He's kicked uh, four goals against the Pies earlier this year at Marvel, and then six against them at the Gabba in round four. So a combined 10 goals won. I think that will make him second in the Norm Smith, and I'll elaborate on the Norm Smith soon. Now, I think it'll be a tight tussle. I think we have momentum uh, swings, and I think the Pies will dominate quarter one, and then the Lions will probably own quarter two and quarter three. I think that's kind of the trend of how both of those teams have played, if I'm not mistaken. But there will be a match winner late in the game, and I think it'll go to Lincoln McCarthy. I don't think it'll be an amazing... Uh, Dom Chides goal because obviously who would predict that but I will predict him to kick the winner maybe it's a 15 meter out crumbing goal with 90 seconds left and probably look out for him to take a hanger when it's pretty rare to see hangers in grand finals huh people don't really try them but he is capable. For a small man, he really gets up there. So I'm expecting a few highlights from Lincoln McCarthy. Well, I said 10 predictions. I've actually only written eight. How lazy am I? Uh, at, past this point, it's kind of pointless. But finally, you know, Brisbane will win the premiership like I predicted. I said that would be three points. And I think Jordan Dugowie, uh will be the first player since Judd in 05 to win the Norm Smith in a losing grand final. Buckley did it in 02, I think it was. Yes, it was 02. And then before that, you have to go back to 1989 with Gary Ablett Sr., which is ridiculous. But Zagoe has been fantastic this year, playing more so as a midfielder than ever before. He'll have 33, eight clearances and kick a goal in this game. He'll hit the scoreboard. He was kind of had a modest performance against the Lions back in round uh, four, but he didn't play in round 23. And I think hey, this guy is built for big moments and therefore... He'll go large. And, you know, last week he had 34 and 13 clearances. So he's the one to stop, I think, from a Lions perspective. But there we go, guys. Those, those are just some fun predictions for you. Let me know in the comments your last-minute predictions. I'm going to have this video out probably pretty early in the morning in Australia. Uh, I'm going to edit it now and then go to bed because I'm going to be up for this damn game. I'm currently intending to vlog the game. We'll see what happens. Uh, it's just going to be me on the couch watching it uh, by myself because uh, my roommate's not going to get up at that hour. <sighs> There is a chance that I get up and I don't feel like it's a good idea anymore, but I've, I've got some ideas to make it watchable and ways to make it interesting. So instead of a live stream, I'll be doing a vlog and then uh, you can expect a few videos out grand final day because um, I don't have a life. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope your team wins today, unless you go for Collingwood. <laughs> Only joking, may the best team win and I'll see you on the other side of the grand final, guys. Cheers.